Dear student, welcome to the eMasomo eLearning portal. The eMasomo eLearning portal is an online learning platform that has been set up by Cooperative University to facilitate the e-learning mode of delivery. In this video, we will introduce you to how to log in to the eMasomo e-learning platform. We're also going to get you started with how to navigate the eMasomo platform. And finally, we're going to look at how the eMasomo e-learning platform courses are structured and what is expected of you when you are learning online. We'll also look at how you will be communicating with the lecturer who is teaching the eMasomo courses you're taking up. So let's get started with logging into the eLearning portal. To log in, proceed to your browser and type in the URL eMasomo.cuk.ac.ke. In doing so, you will uh, load, the browser should load the eMasomo eLearning platform. The next step is you will be required to log in. To do this, on the top right corner of your screen, you will see the text written, you are not logged in. Then into brackets, log in. Click on that link. And then you will be provide, pro provided with the login screen. The login screen will require that you enter your username and password. Your username and password have been sent to your institutional student email account. Instructions on how to to Activate your institutional student email account have been posted on the eMasomo eLearning portal on the homepage. This has been posted as an announcement. Once you have put in the eLearning portal credentials, you should be able to log in. You should be able to see your name appearing on the top right corner. That is an indication that you have successfully logged in. What we want to see is how do I access my courses? The, the courses you're taking up will appear on what we call the dashboard. There are two ways you can access the dashboard. The first is, number one, on the top right corner where your name appears, next to the the place where your profile picture will be appearing, there is a small arrow pointing downwards. Click on it and you will see a small pop-up menu that appears. The first link on that pop-up menu is dashboard. The next is profile, then grades, messages and preferences. Preferences allow you to edit the site, the personal site settings. Messages allow you to read the personal messages that have been sent to you by the teacher or stroke facilitator or lecturer and other participants that have sent you messages on the site. Grades give you an overview of how you have performed or the grades you have attained across the courses that you are taking up. Then the profile allows you to view your profile on the online platform, as on the online portal, as well as edit your profile. Then there is the dashboard, which lists the courses you are taking up. The other way you can access the dashboard is using this link written, Access Your Courses. When you click on that link, you will be listed for the courses you are enrolled in. Note that the courses you are taking up are the courses that you are enrolled in. To open up a course, you simply click on the course to view the contents of the course. Now, I will take you through the second step, which is how the courses are structured. The first section of the courses will include the course information. This information includes the course code, the title, prerequisites, the lecturer con uh, contact. The lecturer contact is a person who is teaching you the course so that you can be able to contact them. 
then there's a uh, there'll be a video or a text that is giving you an overview of the course as well as the learning outcomes and the course outline which is attached this is just to help you to have an overview or get an overview of what the course entails you'll also be provided with forums for interaction the announcements forum where the lecturer will be posting announcements and the introduction forum where you will get introduced to other members who are taking up the course as well as other interactions as guided by the lecturer the courses will further be divided into topics so each topic the content of the topic will be provided in the section for that topic this will include an introduction the topic outcomes the learning activities which you will undertake which will be described by the lecturer in that section and the lecturer will also attach the reading materials as well as the assessment tasks make sure that you undertake all the tasks that have been provided in each topic so this will proceed for all the topics in the course the next thing you need to know is how to access the other members of the course on the left side of the screen there is a link written participants from the participants link you will see other members of the course as well as the lecturer who's teaching you the course from this screen you can be able to send a personal message to the lecturer in this instance my lecturer is mary njoki so i simply click on her name and then I can be able to send her a message. The message can be a question or a clarification that I need from her. So you type your message and click send. So this is one way you will be communicating with the lecturer as well as other participants on the course you are taking up. If you want to go back to the home page, simply click on site home on the navigation block. The navigation block will be appearing on the left side of the screen. So by simply clicking site home, you will go back to the home page. The navigation block will also be containing the list of courses that you are taking up. So that is another way you will be using to navigate across the courses you're taking up. Another thing that you may need very much on the site is the library. So the library will be populated with past papers and links to extra resources. The library team will be responsible for that. There is also the student info and communication. Under the student info and communication, you will be enrolled in the student info and communication office space where the department, the deans and the university will be posting any any announcements that you may need you will also be provided with a forum where you can post questions for the team to respond in case you have any challenges in terms of the using the site you can also post questions for the technical team in the same space the student info and communication space for them to support you welcome to learning online I hope you will have an enjoyable learning experience.